In this video, we are going to break down and discuss what I expect we are going to see in the new Mortal Kombat movie. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this. First off, we must discuss the short film Mortal Kombat Rebirth and explain why the new Mortal Kombat movie owes its very existence to Mortal Kombat Rebirth and its director Kevin Tencherone. Rebirth was made to be a short teaser that could be pitched to the studio, but when uploading the video to YouTube, it was accidentally made public. Ten Sharon, who is better known for films like You Got Served, spent 7500 bucks of his own money to produce the 7.5 minute short. Many of the actors supposedly had no idea what the film was actually for. Jerry Ryan, who played Sonya Blade, stated she did the scene as a favor to a friend, and that she believed it was a pitch for a full-length film. However, the agent for Michael J. White, who played Jax, believed it was an advertisement for an upcoming Mortal Kombat video game. It seems no one really knew why the film was even being made. Yet what is clear is that the director Kevin Tencherone was doing whatever he could to bring the Mortal Kombat series back to the big screen. The big problem with the Mortal Kombat series was that the second Hollywood film Annihilation bombed at the box office and is widely considered a terrible film. Annihilation effectively annihilated any chance for a third Mortal Kombat film as most studios did not want anything to do with the series. On the other hand, Mortal Kombat as a video game series has been extremely successful, with over 11 different games being released over the last three decades. For the film series, however, it sat on the shelf collecting dust for over a decade until Tencherone decided, you know what, the world needs another Mortal Kombat movie and I'm gonna make it happen. Rebirth received very positive reviews from fans and critics. Even the series creator Ed Boon himself has noted that the film was awesome yet he had no idea it was being made, though he did explain that it probably crosses the line as far as reimagining goes, he later stated that he thought it was incredibly well done and that it was a legitimate alternate universe Mortal Kombat. Rebirth is the base that the new Mortal Kombat universe will spawn from. Expect the story of the new film to follow in line with Rebirth. This means that the new character Cole Young will replace the role that Liu Kang played in the original film as the main protagonist of the story. Another major difference in the Rebirth storyline is that Johnny Cage is killed by Baraka as he was attempting to infiltrate the tournament, and this explains why he is not in the new film. Rebirth is certainly a reimagining of the old story. It seeks to create a Mortal Kombat universe that is based in realism. This means it wants to make the story more believable by attaching scientific explanations for characters' features like Baraka's arm blades or reptiles' reptileness. The hope is that this makes the film seem more real and that the characters in the film could be real people. In fact, in Rebirth, as Jax is explaining what the Mortal Kombat tournament is, he describes it as an underground super tournament with the world's most dangerous serial killers. If the film follows in line with the Rebirth storyline, this is what we should expect. A movie seeking to create, as Boone put it, an alternate Mortal Kombat universe that is not set in Outworld or the Nether Realm, but fully on Earth. Depending on how deep into the realism hole Warner Brothers want to go, we might not see any mention of Outworld or the Elder Gods at all. Be prepared to witness a world that is much different from the two previous Hollywood releases. The trailer for the film seems to suggest that the movie will begin with the killing of Hanzo Hasashi, aka Scorpion, by Bihan, aka Sub-Zero. These two guys were the deadliest assassins in Japan and were the heads of the Lin Kuei and the Shirai Ryu clans. It is, it is unclear why the film begins in ancient Japan, but what this could mean is that this is how the newest character in the Mortal Kombat legacy will be introduced. Cole Young seems to be a distant descendant of Scorpion, who, as we just went over, was killed by Sub-Zero. Because the film seeks to be more realistic, Scorpion may not be able to be resurrected in the same way he was in Mortal Kombat lore. It is possible Young is being summoned to the tournament as a guise so that Sub-Zero can assassinate him and wipe the Shirai Ryu clan off the face of the Earth Realm. It would then make sense that Young is a descendant of Scorpion and could possibly be the last living member of the Shirai Ryu clan. 
In the trailer, Young is shown with the Mortal Kombat insignia branded into his chest, seemingly as a birthmark, showing that he is somehow connected to the tournament. Jax tells Young that this is not a birthmark, it means that he has been chosen. Jax and Sonya Blade are homicide detectives who are hunting down serial killers, mainly Baraka and Reptile, whom they believe will be attending the tournament. It seems that Young gets tasked by Jax and Sonya to attempt to do the same thing that just got Johnny Cage killed, that is to find a way to get into the damn tournament. Young's birthmark seems to be a golden ticket. That makes total sense, but what is confusing is how this connects to Rebirth. As in Rebirth, it is Scorpion who is tasked by Jax and Sonya to get into the tournament, where he would then find his nemesis Sub-Zero. So you may be asking yourself, wait a minute, how can Scorpion be alive if he was just killed by Sub-Zero? This is what makes it so difficult to decipher the direction the film is trying to take. I do believe that Young will be some sort of descendant of Scorpion. It only makes sense why the film would tell the whole story of the murder of Hanzo Hasashi and why Sub-Zero seems to be the main villain in the trailer. The biggest question then is will Cole Young replace the role Scorpion was meant to play in the Rebirth storyline or will Scorpion be resurrected and take his revenge? One scene in the trailer seems to suggest that Young is actually Scorpion or that he is being influenced by him through some sort of spiritual or ancestral connection. No matter what direction the film decides to take, the one thing that is clear is that the new film will follow in the footsteps of the Mortal Kombat Rebirth storyline. The storyline that was created, inspired, and directed by Kevin Pendulum. Everything else is anyone's guess.